Hello and welcome to this episode of Luthier Shorts. In this edition, I'm going to show you a method that I recently learned from an article from the 1800s, which I will link below in the description. How to process and flatten real tortoiseshell and make it ready for use in inlay or pick guards or picks as are so popular with many guitar players. Now, it has to be said that the trade and sale of this material is strictly prohibited and it should go without saying that the shell I'm using in this video is antique shell and is for personal use only. That all said, the process itself is really quite simple. It's just a matter of boiling the shell, waiting till it's soft and supple enough and then pressing it between two plates of some kind. You'll see later on in the video that I made a kind of flower press type device from some um, concrete plywood. Very simple. I really was flying by instinct in a lot of ways here. The original article, as you'll see if you read it, had no real instruction on how long you should do this for or how soft the shell needs to become before you compress it only that if you do it for too long the shell can become discolored and I did find that on the edges of the shell a kind of whitish discoloration so this really was a kind of instinctive procedure trying to figure out what the maximum softness was um, all in all after about five minutes I decided that it wasn't really getting any softer so I went ahead and took it off the stove and got ready to press it And here's the aforementioned press, a very simple device in the same style as a kind of uh, flower press. Just two pieces of concrete plywood, um, some threaded bar, and some wing nuts. At this point I decided to use a clamp in the middle of the press because I was kind of worried that the sort of ridgy point of the shell wasn't really getting compressed enough by the, uh, by the bolts which are really working only at the edges of the press. So I added this extra clamp for a little bit of extra um, uh, security. And here we are 24 hours later. As you can see, the shell is dried out and nicely pressed flat and ready to use for, well, whatever you feel like using it for. Um, again, I really have to say, this is for personal use only. Do not contact me for sales. I am not promoting the illegal practices which surround um, the harvesting of turtle shell in any way. This is antique shell, uh, pre ban shell for personal use only. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Luthier Shorts. Please like and subscribe and see you next time.